Nestled deep in the sunny mountains, a two-year-old corgi named Kansas patrols this ranch home and the acres around it. It's also home to goats, chickens, hogs, and horses, all of whom Kansas helps keep in line. It's a tall order for a short dog. Corgis are the smallest of the herding breeds and have been wrangling farmyard animals since the 1100s. They were originally bred to be low to the ground so they could nip the heels of lagging livestock. But lately, Kansas has been looking out for some lives that are closer to the ground. A few days ago, she became a mom to five little corgi boys and three little corgi girls. There are actually two different breeds of corgi. Kansas is a Pembroke, and right now she's determined to get all eight little Pembrokes through bath time, whether the pups like it or not. Some manage to wiggle past her, but littlest pup Charlie gets caught in the fray. Very caught in the fray. With all eight successfully cleaned, Kansas heads out to check on the bigger animals, leaving her brood in a nice, neat puppy pile. But someone's not interested in sticking to the pile. This little guy named Otis is determined to see what else is out there. Unfortunately, the pups can't see or hear yet, so Otis ends up taking a wrong turn. Though he can smell that his siblings are near, finding them, or his way out, isn't easy. Otis sends out an SOS, but it falls on deaf ears. So the determined pup has no choice but to find his own way out. Back above the blanket, Otis realizes that there's safety in numbers, and maybe the puppy pile's not so bad, as long as he can be on top. Back at the Corgi Ranch, the eight pups are in motion. Learning to walk is a rite of passage for any young pup. But when you're a Corgi, you must also learn how to balance a big dog body on short little legs. Despite the pitfalls, the three-week-old corgis face this challenge head-on. Except for the littlest pup, Charlie, who's not interested in taking any risks. Meanwhile, his determined brother, Otis, has already made it to the far reaches of the den. And he's looking for a higher challenge. The coffee table is the perfect summit for the young climber. Otis is pleased with his accomplishment. And the rest rush to join him at his special spot. Of course, climbing with short legs isn't easy. And not for the faint of heart. Otis inspires the others by getting right back up. But then he hears a cry from below. So Otis leaps to a new mission. Because while being on top may be fun, every brave leader knows you never leave a man behind. It's the first time the pups are feeling the sun on their backs and the tall grass under their feet. And they're intent on covering every inch of the backyard. But Otis has even higher aspirations. A tall staircase is just the kind of challenge this short pup's looking for. Otis wows his siblings as he makes it all the way to the top. 
And it seems whatever Otis does, the others want to do too. Mom Kansas makes it look easy. And the pups do well too. But little Charlie is once again left behind. His legs are short, even for this family. So vertically challenged Charlie throws in the towel. Never one to leave a man behind, Otis comes down to be by his brother's side. And the others follow suit. Back on the grass, the pups find lunch has been served. And they learn an important lesson for any corgi. Sometimes the best things in life are low to the ground. At seven weeks old, the corgi pups have found ways to get up and down all kinds of places that might seem out of reach for a short dog. But there's still a lot to learn. And today, Mom Kansas is going to teach them an important lesson they'll all need in their future homes. How to reach the best place in the house. Always quick to take the lead, Otis steps right up. But these are steeper than he thought. Of course, that won't stop the determined pup from getting it right the second time. And making it up to the sweet, soft bed. But littlest pup Charlie isn't quite as ambitious. And he hasn't had the greatest luck with stairs. Otis tries to help, but things only go south for little Charlie. So Otis rushes to his side, and this time he won't let Charlie give up. And with a little legwork, Charlie inches closer until he finally gets a view from the top and some extra love from his very proud mom. <laughs>